Hi, this is Adam Lane from Pocketnow.com, and you're watching a Windows Phone Mango Preview. Next up, we're going to look at the People Hub, but really, first I want to look at the Me Hub. Well, the Me Tile. So this has changed a little. We have our profile page, there's the latest Messenger or Facebook update. I can post a message, and I can choose which networks I want to post it to. Twitter does not show up there yet. I can check in. This is a cool new feature. This is going to let me check into local places uh, and post it on Facebook or Live Messenger. You would think Foursquare would be in here, but I don't see it yet. And I can set chat status available. And look at that, notifications. This is where all my Facebook notifications are going to show up and I can tap it to go to that section. And here's the what's new with me. So that's still there. I can see the comments. Now the live tile will flip over when there's notifications. So it won't like pop up a little message at the top, but it'll uh, show you what's new when somebody replies to something you posted or whatnot. So that'll happen over here in the me tile. Now let's look at people. So here's our list. It changed a little bit. The search button is down here now, as well as the new button. And there's a little menu. You can get to settings, so that's a lot better. A lot easier to find the settings for the people. Here's a really good feature, filter my contact list. Now this is not as robust as something that would, you know, on Outlook where you can filter by all sorts of stuff, uh, including categories, which would have been good. But we can shut off things that we don't really care to see in here, and then the contacts will disappear. And right here we can say only show posts from people visible in my contacts list. So if I shut off Facebook, their f Facebook updates for people in my Exchange or LinkedIn contacts list will still show up in the What's New feed. If I want to see everybody on Facebook, I'll just leave that on or shut that off. So there you go. And there's the What's New feed. And up here, I can tap that. And I can just show them from whichever account that I want. And you still have, uh, you can comment and everything, everything like that is still there. Here's your recent people. Those show up just fine. And when you first get into the contact list, you're going to see this uh, family group by default. And when you first set it up, it's going to suggest family members to add to this group based on your last name. So that's a really cool thing. And now I've added a bunch of family members and here they're all showing up. And you can see all these live tiles are bouncing around. And it's showing their pictures, it's showing their status updates. Sometimes it'll show pictures that they post. And all the way down here I can text all of them or chat with all of them. Uh, the ones that are on Messenger. Or I can send email to everybody. Down here I can edit it, add different people. And to swipe over here, there's the What's New feed. And this is going to get what's new with everybody in this group only. So it's only getting uh, posts from family members or on family members walls through Facebook or Windows Live or whatever other social networks we're going to support here. And then there's pictures. See it says pictures of family. And these are all my family members. Well, 20 of them. It only supports 20 people per group. So if you've got like hundreds of cousins like I do, you're going to have to pick the 20 coolest ones. And there's some family pictures. It's all piled together. 
but we can see a uh, nice selection there. So th those are groups, and as you may have noticed, you can pin groups to your start menu. And here's some more groups, and you can see those are flipping around, showing new status updates, showing new pictures, showing little contact photos, lots of activity going on in these groups. Okay, there's a smaller group. Something else that's new. So when we go to a contact, you can still see the what's new feed for that contact, but you can also see their picture albums. So now I'm looking at all of her photo albums, and I can download thumbnails, and they're just going to all appear here. and you'll be able to post comments or add tags. There's a tag. So there's some extensive Facebook integration in the People Hub. And this groups, groups feature is really new. You also have a history. So this, uh, for each contact, you'll see conversations with text messages or uh, Windows Live Messenger or Facebook Messenger or phone calls. You'll see all that right here just for this person in the history. So that's about it for what's new in the People Hub on Windows Phone Mango. Be sure to check out pocketnow.com for our full preview of uh, Windows Phone Mango with um, lots more text and pictures and more videos. That's it for now.